Good morning. So I recently uh, played a, a long game. Well, I don't know if it's long relative to this game, but a long game of Twilight Imperium. I say it's a long game because it's probably the longest game I've ever played. Uh, did I love Twilight Imperium? No, I did not. But did I enjoy the experience? Yes, I did. It, it did not feel long until kind of towards the end. And that could have been just due to the fact that I was tired. I usually wake up early in the morning. It's about 4 o'clock right now. Um, and so at the time we were finishing, it was about 11. I was starting to feel weary. I also had not had a nap. Since we had started at 10, I didn't get a nap that day. I don't usually get a nap, but sometimes it can help for long games. Um, so the game was fine. I, I might play it again. It was very point-oriented, which uh, kind of took took away some of the feel for me. I don't know. I, I, I don't like the the victory conditions of that game. Um, I think it would be more fun. I, I guess there's a, a variant in one of the expansions where everyone has just one secret objective and they go towards that and there's more. That feels more like, I don't know, what that game should be. Uh, this this is just kind of, uh, I don't didn't I didn't feel super like I was in, doing space stuff, I guess. It was just kind of points. Uh, though most of the game I didn't really go for the points so much. Um, though I ended up with the second most amount of points. Um, so, what was, it, what was fun about the game is there were eight people, so there's this large group dynamic, and that was very interesting. Um, I was seated next to two very friendly people, so I immediately made peace with them, and then kind of spent, I, I was a university dean in the game, so I spent most of the game just kind of building up my university and working on discovering new technologies and uh, enjoying that um, while keeping peace with the neighbors that I had. Now one of my neighbors won and um, towards the end of the game people were like, oh you could win, you should go after him. But I didn't want to do that and and they said, well it's well within the rules. Um, and there was a lot of talking going on so I didn't really have a chance to fully articulate a response. but. Um, it's something I hear a lot. Like if it's if it's legal or if it's within the rules to do something, it's fair game, and you shouldn't be criticized or you shouldn't have to worry about uh, whatever you do as long as it's within those bounds. And I would say that you know if you believe in um, a country that's not totalitarian or being in a place where there's some leeway for choice then that is not a good policy. <laughs> I think it's, it's okay to have certain rules you place on yourself and uh, follow those. And there's certain, it's okay to expect people to follow certain rules. We do that all the time. That's how society works. So, society can't be fully governed um, and it shouldn't be expected to fully follow, you know, to just follow its governance. It needs to follow um, other sets of rules. Otherwise, you know, it would be so annoying. You know, like if, if, if I made an agreement with someone that we didn't have a contract or whatever, you know, if I, if there's certain expectations we have of, of the people around us to treat us in a certain way. Um, if you didn't have those expectations, it would just be like kind of closed off in our little holes and not really be able to interact. It, it's, it's just, it's just not, not feasible. So I feel, I feel like if, I think it would have been fine, and I don't think I would have felt bad about myself necessarily uh, if I had turned on this fellow. But at the same time, um, I don't think I should feel bad about not turning on him. And I did. I don't think there was a lot of guilt, but I think um, people thought I there was no no reason why I shouldn't have turned on him. But I think there are. I think there are. You can have um, you can have rules and victory conditions. That go beyond the game, and I don't think that that necessarily wrecks the game. Um, I think if everyone, in fact, in a game like that, <coughs> it makes it more interesting for people to to do that. For for example, one person got smashed down pretty early on. Um, it became this whole emotional experience for him, and so he he developed this other narrative where he was like a pirate and he was just doing totally irrational things, sort of. I mean, he had but or or what might have looked like as irrational things from the outside, but really they're rational within his own set of like 
victory points that <laughs> were going on in his heart. And I, I thought it made for a more interesting game. If everyone just played kind of purely towards those rules and didn't have any sort of like uh, emotional reaction to what was going on, it would not be much of a game uh, for me. It would not be a very interesting game, especially that game, just put a point. So I got a point for doing this. Uh, now I get a point for doing this. I got a point for doing this. There's no narrative there other than this person was trying to get a point and then this person stopped them because they wanted that point. The, uh, what's, what's interesting about stories is that there's different motivations going on. And what's interesting about societies is that you can't really spell out every single thing, uh, every single rule for how people should interact. Um, so what I would I play Twilight Imperium again, maybe just because it seems. Here's my my hypothesis about this game. Um, people love it because they love that long experience, and Twilight Imperium has the pieces and sort of like came in. It. It's it's got this historical place, and I I I don't have a lot of evidence for this. I haven't looked into it, and I'm not going to. I'm not that interested. Um, but people, you know, having spent 12 hours playing a game, if you're willing to do that, you're going to enjoy that game a lot more. Um, I, I don't know that it's the best game of this sort, but it has like plastic pieces and it's fantasy flight. And, you know, maybe it came or came onto the scene at just the right time to catch this kind of generation, generational crossroads perhaps of people who would be willing to play long games. Um, it, it takes from some other like popular areas. It's got some um, European mechanisms involved, um, but yeah. So, so I think it, you know if you if you play a game for twelve hours, you're gonna have you're gonna appreciate it more. It's like you know 